Hi, I'm Sachin Gupta. I'm a graduate of IT Roorkee. Uh, if there was one line to describe me, I would say I'm a hardcore programmer. I've been programming my whole life. Uh, I mean, my four years of engineering and it has been absolute fun. Uh, to tell more about myself, I've interned at uh, Microsoft in the past and I worked at Google for four months prior to co-founding Hacker Earth. Uh, hi, I'm Vivek Prakash. Uh, I started programming around three years ago and then I've been uh, continuously doing it. I uh, interned at Google Summer of Code and Amazon in the past. And then around a year back, uh, we started working on uh, some uh, together. I started working on some cool projects, and from there, the idea of this is startup. So I'll give a brief background about how it all started. About a year and a half ago, we were uh, more or less interested in doing something cool. Uh, I guess maybe the times have changed now in the sense there are a lot more exposure, uh, a lot more many success stories. So we were also motivated to uh, build a startup, and definitely one thing was in our mind: we don't want to work in a big corporate. So that was always on the cards. We were thinking what to do, what not to do. Uh, and one thing that we relate ourselves very well is to develop a community. So keeping that in mind, we started a discussion learning platform about uh, a year back and did a relaunch in February this year. Uh, since then, we've had decent traction on that. But the learning platform, we never intended to monetize it. And it was all in the process, we realized that there's a uh, huge skew in terms of the kind of talent that is available in India. Uh, its distribution across cities, across colleges, and the kind of uh, recruiting needs companies have, tech companies, not only in India, but uh, elsewhere as well. So that that's how we came up with the idea of Hacker Earth, because that's a problem that we can relate ourselves to and wanted to, uh, wanted to catch on the opportunity. Basically, Hacker Earth is a platform that lets companies find great programmers and vice versa, let, it gives visibility to programmers for companies as well, good, great companies. And uh, what it does is that we are uh, trying to, so I'll just give you a few numbers. Uh, recently read sometime back that there are about 100,000 IT graduates each year from India. And there are about 30,000 jobs or IT positions that are being offered by companies only in India. But the problem is that all of these 100,000 graduates, only 20% of them are employable. And even worse is that they're highly distributed. So the problem is not only how, uh, how do you get access to them, and there's another bigger problem on top of that. How do you assess them? How do you know that this guy is, is the guy for me and this guy has the required skills? So what we're doing at Hacker Earth is creating a platform that not only lets you find great programmers, but also helps you to assess them objectively. Acceptance in GSF Accelerator was, I, I can say, by chance. Uh, we, were, we were not uh, ready for that. We didn't prepare for that. I flew in from college here to give the presentation along with Sachin. The presentation went pretty well. After a few days, uh, uh, we got the invitation to uh, invitation that we have been accepted into GSF Accelerator. And the journey uh, after being in GSF Accelerator has been very amazing. Uh, we learned a lot of things. Uh, uh, we just graduated from college and uh, we didn't know many things like yeah. uh, marketing, like business strategy, like sales. We earlier we just used to think that make a good product and it's put it's and uh, they, and it will go viral. Yeah. But it but it is not work that way. And we are, and uh, right now we have understood many things. We are working on uh, developing the lateral skills that are required to build a great business. And uh, GSM accelerator has helped us a lot in okay. that process. And so one of the learnings that I got from uh, being part of this program is that. Product is the heart of your company, but even bigger function than that is sales. How do you go out and say, sell yourself, your company, your products? It's even far more difficult than building a product. Yeah. So actually, the Indian developer community is very fragmented. There is, uh, uh, the, the, and it is fragmented mainly due to the level of colleges, colleges area. So, and in in the colleges itself, the, that developers that graduate, uh, the skill sets, the the way with they think are fragmented. The, the, the fragmentation is in terms of what, whatever problems uh, they want to solve, whether it is just a standard algorithm problems or whether uh, it is a real world problem. So uh, in, in doctoral colleges, mostly people are uh, just solving a, st uh, a standard algorithm problems. Whereas as you go uh, in the in the, in the down layer, you, you will see that most of the uh, guy uh, most of the developers are working on building products, yeah. and uh, we want to bridge this gap also. So uh, and, and the difference between um, the developer in the USA and here is that most of the uh, uh, students and the developers here want an incentive to work on anything. Yeah. Uh, the the idea that uh, uh, this thing will give me a chance to show that I am very cool or I am very good. That does not exist very much here. So, uh, so we have to so we have to balance both the things. Another interesting fact about this is that GitHub, 
it has only about 3% of participation from India. So people generally do not, in India, do not value open source projects. Although on the other hand, the maximum number of participations in Google Small of Code are from India. That's because there's an incentive in that and Indians are by nature good programmers. But they are not what could say good developers in the sense they do not, they do not work on standalone projects. And the community is also fragmented. There are few good programmers in different colleges. So at Hackerath, what we're trying to do is that, uh, first of all, we want to conduct interesting challenges on a regular basis. Uh, these challenges will not only have standard algorithm problems, but they'll have some real world problems as well. The whole gamification of the process where they'll be building stuff and they'll be, and in the process, obviously learning things. Mm. Uh, the incentive that we are trying to generate for these people is apart from uh, being able to show their skills and, you know, really brag about it, but far greater than that, they get access, they, they get to improve their skill set. So if you're taking part in these challenges, it's not just one time you came there, you lose and you went or you won and you got your prize. It's the continuous learning process. Process, the things you take back from it. Uh, on the uh, on the lighter side of it, we are trying to partner with companies. In the first event itself, we are partnered with Inmobi and Canberra, and they're giving our prize of iPod and uh, Amazon. So that's an added uh, goodie that we throw in the basket. But on a larger front, it's about learning and developing your skills, and then getting uh, in touch with all these great programmers across the world. And uh, we uh, we are fo uh, following a slightly different model here. Currently, the most of the contest or such challenges that happen are very limited, four to five hour contest. And uh, that is that is like a pain, and uh, people are not able to solve problems or learn in the period. So we are following a weekly contest. It's by the name of Hacker Weekly. So the first thing that we launched was Hacker Weekly Abacus. Abacus is uh, the evolution. Uh, Abacus is from where the evolution yeah. of computer science started. Yeah. So we will uh, so uh, recreate this evolution yeah. of computer science. So we will follow this trend, and the contest uh, will be weekly in nature, so that people get enough time to learn, to think, and to solve problems. And in the process, also get uh, win prizes and uh, improve their skills. Mm -hmm.